Gang, what's going on? Getting set up to do another uh, taste test homebrew review. Just did one for the uh, Cooper's um, Lager. Check out that video. Great tasting beer. Um, really shocked the hell out of me um, that it was as tasty as it was. Hadn't been in homebrew for a while, and um, back in the day when I used to do it, it just didn't get a taste in better than commercial. Now it tastes as good or better. The best part of these um, taste test videos is the buzz you get if you do a few of them in a row. Because I just did the uh, Cooper's Lager one. Now I'm doing good old Mr. Beer, the Pilsner. Now I have tried this one as well already. Um, I picked up, I got back in the homebrew. I, I, I've been making wine and uh, I'm actually making some mead right now for a little bit now. Wine anyways, mead, this is my first go at it. I'll give you a taste test on that and actually do some videos on how to make that, which is honey wine for all of you who do not know uh, what mead is. It's probably the original alcohol is what a lot of people would tell you. Um, and then I decided to give homebrew beer a go again because a lot of people are saying, you know what, it tastes pretty good these days. And, I live in Canada and New Brunswick, and it's pretty pricey to buy, I think, a 12-pack of beer. 12-pack of beer is $23 and something, so you get yourself an eight, uh, 18 bucks. I can get myself a Cooper's kit. That makes a lot more beer than a 12-pack will. It makes a lot of sense, plus I enjoy doing it. Um, but Mr. Beer, I started out with Mr. Beer. I ordered that first, and then I get into the Cooper's. Now, the Mr. Beer um, primary fermenter is a lot smaller than the uh, Cooper's. Um, I can't even remember how, 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 how many liters it actually holds, but it's, it's significantly smaller, maybe maybe under half the size, in fact. Um, but it's neat, because I've actually got another Mr. Beer on the go right now, a Mexican Cerveza. So that's cool, because summer's coming up. We're in the April era, though it's been a long winter. So I've got that. Gonna, gonna, that's been in, actually, tomorrow it's got to be bottled, because it's been in the, um, the primary fermenter, I believe, for three weeks. i got it written down. Maybe i got another week to go, but um, we'll see. But I think tomorrow it does get bottled. And then I'll leave it sitting, as I did this one. This Pilsner was three weeks in the primary. There's no secondary. Um, and then it was put in the bottles. I used the little sugar drops that came with it, put those in the bottles when I was carbonating instead of mixing up my own sugar. Very cool, so easy, simple, works very well. And then uh, I left it in a room temperature, dry, dark place. I don't know if it has to be dry, but it was dry, dark place for three weeks. And this has been sitting in the fridge for at least two weeks. I've had some, it's very good, I like it. Um, I like lagers better than Pilsner, but this is a neat tasting beer. Looking forward to the cerveza, I'll do a taste test on that. I'll bring this over so you can hear the nice carbonation when I pop this thing. Okay, isn't that nice? Nice carbonation to it, uh, which is nice. I'll just see if we can get some head on this thing here. Gotta, I find you got to pour them a little faster. I'm sure all the homebrew experts will be like, what are you doing? But whatever, I'm just here to drink some beer, make some beer. There's a nice head on it. And it's clear. It is a darker beer, I found. Um, the, the Pilsner is a darker beer. Let me see. I'll get this light here. See if that helps any. There we go. I don't know if that helps any. It's clear. There's no floaties in it. Um, I find at the bottom of the bottle you got to leave about that much if you want a super clear beer when you're pouring it. I leave that much in and it turns out very nice. Nice head on it. Um, even a better head than the Cooper's Lager actually. And uh, tastes good. Part of the best part of doing these videos, like I said, is getting to consume the beer. It is a nice tasting beer. It's incredible how um, home brewing has come along. Let me see. Last time I homebrewed before these beer, like I said, done wine for a while. But the last time I did beer would have been 10 years ago. 10 to 11 years ago. And it, I don't know, I, you, you just had to be more. My cousin and I had buddies that made great home beer or homebrew, and I just couldn't. You had to be more fine tuned, attention to detail. Nowadays, with the Cooper's DIY kit and the Mr. Beer homebrew kit, it, it's, it's pretty tough to screw it up, and I'm telling you, it, it, it's some good tasting beer. It's, it is very surprising. Ah, best part of it. Don't know what else to tell you guys. Success. No doubt about it. Looking forward to the Cerveza Mexican, kind of like a Corona, that's what that is. Um, you got any questions, by all means, pop them into the comments. I'm more than happy to help you. I'm not a hardcore home brewer, you know, so far with the 
the mashes and putting the hops in and all that stuff. I'm just, you know, make some beer that I like to drink and let's let's do it up. It's fun to do. I may, you know, experiment here and there and get some hops and stuff to throw in it. But, I, you know, it, when it comes to beers, I like beers from all around the world. Um, and I do try a lot of beers. Um, you know, my friends, will, <laughs> my friends will tell you that probably more than anyone they know. But on a regular basis, I would drink like a light lager. Now, you know, if I come home from work on a Friday and I want a beer, I get myself my light lager to go get the liquor store. Um, I do like, again, all kinds of beers. You know, Guinness is one of my favorite beers if I wanted to, you know, go out of, go out of the, uh, my norm. Um, but, you know, this, this, these beers are really tasty. They're not hard to drink. My wife actually gave her a bottle or two, and uh, she very much enjoyed it too. So it's, it's not your daddy's homebrew, that's for sure. That's what I got for you guys. Stay tuned. I intend to do videos where I do more. Man, that is good. Where I intend to do more um, taste tests. Uh, I'll start doing some. I'll try to figure it out to do some videos where I'm brewing some stuff up. Uh, I'll, let, I'll, I'll do some taste tests of my mead that I'm making, which is really cool. I'm excited to see how that taste. It takes a while, so probably not until July. That's it, guys. Have a great night. Cheers.